Then, um, I've had some trouble with my uh, primary and secondary shaft because I did not have the proper tools to change the bearings. Uh, I needed to find someone to do this for me. And not every uh, gearbox reconditioner or machine shop will do this for you because it's not a lot of work, they don't make a lot of money on it and I had the, already bought the bearings myself so they weren't too keen the first guys I called and then I found someone he was very nice he was very professional um, he, this was actually his uh, second job so he did this after he finished his first job or primary job um, he was well equipped very nice very friendly professional and we got the job done in about about an hour's work worth of work and this is his uh, business card I'll put a link to his website in the description below for anyone that's in Belgium and interested in contacting him he does uh, tuning um, he implements emerald uh, aftermarket ECUs he has his own uh, dyno uh, he repairs uh, gearboxes and does all his own machining on, on some pieces custom pieces and all that so if you need anything contact him really nice chap then uh, to show you so this is uh, the primary on which we changed this bearing right here this was the one that was shot completely and the lower one And then the secondary, we also changed the fifth gear side and the lower one. To install our um, shafts, we need to get the guide back up. We need to install our seal. Um, and then install the the face uh, or the the outer race actually of the the bearing. So turn the gearbox on its side. Oh, that's a magnet. And we see our face right here and we need this piece that should go over here I am going to apply some uh, seal again because I don't know if this uh, seal will hold up you might want to change the entire assembly next time uh, so we're gonna clean the surfaces up a bit apply some sealant and then we need the proper bolts uh, I believe these are the ones I need so three bolts with washers they're not that long going to clean them up a bit as well so I need my old rag I will also need the new seal. 
which is this small one, which I got from the eBay store one one stop gearbox shop. Then I need to reinstall this, so I'm just wondering how it was that it needs to go in. I think it's like this. In a facing out closed end. So again, I'm going to apply some uh, sealant. On the outside face. this in and that's okay Next up is our plate. So, like I said, um, I'm going to take some brake cleaner again, clean the mating surfaces up a bit. Also the one on the uh, sh shaft guide as well. So that's that. And apply some sealant. Just the little bead should do. So this isn't the prescribed procedure, but I just want to make sure I don't think there's any harm in doing this, so There you go Just spread it out a bit Need the correct size, which is most likely a ten, no, nope. eleven, then. Yep. Eleven. Okay. 
that should be okay. And I can see some of the seal coming out on the inside, which is good. Just wipe it down a bit. Next up is the, the shim, just insert it back inside and now we need to look for our uh, so outer race, the outer race. Make sure it's clean. Apply some grease to the outside and the little round edge so it goes in smoothly insert make sure it's straight as straight as you can get and then <coughs> I need uh, I'm looking for a piece of wood or something straight and clean piece of wood which you can place on the bearing then uh, give it a whack with the hammer It's in, but not completely seated yet. And the rest of the way, I'm gonna use my punch or try to get it down with my punch. Uh, it's surprisingly easy. And I think it went down all the way onto the bearing, onto the spacer, so. That's nice. Mm, I just noticed something which I'm going to show you guys real quick. So, as you can see, there is a small opening underneath the bearing. So, oil goes in through here, passes out through there, and then lubricates the bearing just for your information. This right here is our fill opening. It's just a bit of plastic along with our de aerator or whatever you wanna call it. 